Nancy Pelosi, um, in an interview the other day, said, when asked about inflation, that we need to change the subject. That's what she said. We need to change the subject. Not address it, change the subject. Guy, this isn't... <laughs> It's not a game. You're talking about people's livelihoods. If you get a 7% pay raise at the end of this year, you lost money. You lost money. If you get a 7% pay raise at the end of this year with the 8% rate of inflation that we're going into next year with, you will, have, you will be poorer than you were a year before. Granted, none of your finances change. You will be poorer in 2023 on a 7.5% pay raise than you were in 2022. That's where we're headed. But we just need to change the subject. It'll go away on its own. And the only thing they can do is raise the interest rates. That's the only way they can fix this. They've dug the hole so deep, all they can do is raise the interest rates. So if you want to buy a home, that goes way up. So yeah, the prices are falling. But if the home price drops 5% and the interest rate rises 5%, it's a wash. You're in the same hole. You, we're in the same hole we were in two years ago where people couldn't buy homes. So I mean, we're, we're approaching dangerous territory. Not to mention, if you've got credit card debt that isn't like on a 15-month you know, introductory no interest rate thing or a fixed rate, right? If you've got credit card debt, they can jet, the interest rate's going to go up on that too. That's how they're going to solve inflation. To screw you. There's, there, and there's no other way to do it. That's the shitty part, is they can either do that and raise the interest rates, or they can let inflation get out of control and it costs $500 to eat at Applebee's. Th th those are the choices, and it sucks. And the people we have in power absolutely deserve to, to face a, a jury for high, the high crime of treason for doing this and le not letting this happen, doing it on purpose. Let's be real here. The decisions they've made leading up to this... It's, People that get into positions like that are not stupid. They're not doing it because they're dumb. They're doing it on purpose because they want to intentionally destroy this country. It's the controlled demolition of society. And every one of them, if there was any justice, would face a jury for the high crime of treason. Every one of them. Every one of them would be in prison for it. It's out of control.